What is up, guys? Uh, it's Kyle here. Uh, I'm going to talk about my boy, CM Punk. Um, in the last 24 hours, well, at least from Monday Night Raw, uh, this past Monday, uh, things have been, on the internet-wise, has just blown up. I mean, about CM Punk walking out. Is he done with the WWE? Uh, is this a work? Is it a shoot? Is this legit? A lot of things buzzing around on, on, on the internet, and even more information and things are being uh, sprouted up as I make this video right now. More information is, you know, and things are being uploaded and on wrestling forums and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so on three legit wrestling sources, uh, website sources, which everyone probably got the same information, that um, you know, CM Punk Monday straight up told Vince and said I'm going home, walked out, left Raw, didn't show up for the uh, two, for the Tuesday tapings of SmackDown, and um, WWE written him off, uh, and yeah, they, they've written him off and withdrew him from all upcoming um, WWE events. Um, why would Punk walk out? Well, if you look at some of the sources and things, it looks like multiple reasons. Uh, one close source to CM Punk had told TMZ, um, well, maybe not close to TMZ, but works within WWE and a part of the staff, uh, told TMZ that um, Punk was yelling and was furious at the at, at the creative staff and was yelling at the staff, saying that I uh, saying yelling, saying something to the fact that he took he already took a hundred damn concussion tests already he doesn't need to take any more and that um and so and also said that uh he also heard CM Punk yell at the staff saying uh I wouldn't I won't tell the fans and feed them this BS so with that statement um allegedly that this 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 worker in WWE heard CM Punk yell it seems like to me that WWE wanted Punk to make some type of excuse or make him say something to to address the fans, and Punk's like, "I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that. That's BS to the fans. I'm not gonna address them um, in this in this manner." Um, so Punk just straight up told Vince, you know, he took his ball and went home. Um, and some people wonder, is this a work? Is it not? Um, could this be a work? If they play the cards right, sure. But, I mean, if you think about it, where Punk's contract expires in July, legitimately, his contract expires in July, and uh, Punk is doing this right before WrestleMania, which some people may say, hey, it's WrestleMania season, so this is where they're working on some angles and some storylines. But, I don't know. I mean, for you to walk out on a big payday like WrestleMania, plus his contract expires in July, so he's not even going to stick it out until July. He's doing this right now. Um, I kind of don't think this is a work. I, I, I mean, you know, um, uh, that that Monday morning before the Royal Rumble, um, there were some people, even a fan, uh, they had this Q&A thing before the Royal Rumble, and a fan had asked uh, Punk, uh, you know, about Batista returning, and he says that, you know, Batista's a friend of his, but he doesn't think Batista is, uh, sh should have won the Royal Rumble. He thinks that, uh, it was Daniel Bryan's time, um, said that, uh, CM Punk even said that, uh, he's not 100% physically, that he's been, he's been tired, a little bit burned out. Uh, he had been sick from September through November of 2013, and he had been working, consistently on every Monday night and every house show um, and that even now he's not 100% but he still has some, some nagging uh, you know physically uh, problems and that uh, he was a little displeased with the creative direction um, of you know where he's going and it was also amplified that CM Punk was not only tired and burned out but the fact that he was he was really not uh pleased with the idea of him facing Triple H at WrestleMania. 
he wasn't pleased with that thought or the idea. Uh, he didn't think it was a good idea, creatively for him at least. And honestly, I mean, when you look at it, I can't blame Punk because we saw a CM Punk Triple H match, uh, you know, two years ago. It had potential. They blew it. They should get Punk over. What really would Punk gain from a match with Triple H just to put it on WrestleMania, a, a bigger pay-per-view, a bigger, a bigger stage? What would it prove to, to CM Punk? Would Punk win that? At WrestleMania against Triple H, I probably doubt that. Um, so you know, it's like what 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 would be the purpose there? Um, I mean, Punk is Punk is one of their, their their bigger stars. I would think that you know, and, and Punk Punk's this is the first time Punk's really done this. Really walk out. Punk has always been vocal and opinionated about WWE, but for him to kind of walk out like this. Um, I don't know if it's a work. I, I don't know. I mean, the kind of person that Punk is and how outspoken he is, this seems like something he would legitimately do with no regrets. And he even said in the Q&A on Sunday before the pay-per-view that uh, money's, not a, money's not an issue when it comes to him. So, you know, when you make a statement like that, do what he did the next night on Monday, uh, right before WrestleMania, which is, you know, the day where everyone pretty much gets a nice, hefty paycheck, I again I say I just don't think that this is a work. It could be, I'm not doubting that. But I mean knowing how punk is, I just don't know. Um I think it would suck, you know, if he ends up walking out taking his ball and go home because punk is not only my number one favorite superstar in this generation of professional wrestling and the one reason why I watch WWE, one of the reasons why I watch WWE, but um you know, I just bought tickets recently um, from Monday Night Raw, March 3rd, and, uh, here in Chicago, uh, live, a, a live edition of Raw, and, uh, CM Punk was advertised, and now that you have this going on, I don't know if Punk's even gonna be here in his hometown, um, so it's, it's, it's interesting, I don't think Punk's absence would make a huge dent, um, in the company, I think WWE would just see it as, you know, business quote, we'll keep moving on, um, Obviously, I think that was well indicated, you know, with, with Raw, because no one knew about Punk walking out. You know, we didn't see Punk, but we didn't think to worry about Punk and what was going on with him. Did we think, oh, maybe they may do something with the storyline on SmackDown or something. But, you know, for them to easily, you know, write him off of Raw and for Raw to work as smoothly and well as it did uh, Monday, I, I think it's 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 pretty much evident that WWE, they, they can they can continue to move forward um but yeah i mean this is i don't know i mean let's just say it's, it's said the punk's not pleased with where he is creatively and you know and the way he feels about part-timers you know punk has been strongly uh vocally opinionated about part-timers them coming in and getting big spots compared to the guys that have been there on a weekly and a nightly basis um so I, I I I definitely get Punk on that. I mean, if you guys remember last year in 2013, Punk originally was not supposed to return until SummerSlam of 2013, but instead WWE uh, decided to push him uh, what three months early uh, ahead of his schedule and wanted him to return uh, at the Payback Pay Per View here in Chicago uh, last year, and it was said that Punk was a bit livid at that because he didn't want to return at the Payback Pay Per View in Chicago. He wanted to be come back at, at SummerSlam and be well rested. Um, so yeah, I, I can see where some of Punk's frustrations uh, lie a bit. And you know, you even got to be honest. Twenty thirteen, Punk has probably had some of the best matches um, in WWE last year, but Punk really has not been uh, viewed, at least, as one of the top guys um, going to from 2013 going into this year. Um, I'm not saying that you know he has to win the title or, or he has to be in the title pitch in order to be a big star. That That's not what I'm saying because you don't always have to wear a championship belt, win a championship belt, be in the title pitcher to, to be a, to be a you know, a big player um, in the game. But the fact that, you know, how since he lost the title to The Rock last year and since he lost to uh, Undertaker at WrestleMania, Punk really hasn't 
been anything big. Yes, he had the big match with Brock Lesnar in SummerSlam, but then after that, they kind of like thrusted him into the thing with the Wyatt family. Then they tossed him back over with the Shield. Now they're tossing him with New Age Outlaws, Kane, and Triple H almost. So, I mean, they're, they're doing stuff with them. But to his degree, it's like, you know, I want more. This is something you would kind of give someone a little bit below me, not someone of my my level. And Punk is arrogant and cocky, but, you know, I mean, you take that how you may see fit. But I, I kind of see what, where, where Punk is getting. I mean, uh, Punk has been nowhere near the title pictures of 2013. And even going in this year, he hasn't been nowhere near, uh, the, you know, the, the, the championships, um, which is a bit odd and strange because I would have much rather had a CM Punk Randy Orton match at Survivor Series rather than a big show and Randy Orton match at Survivor Series and just all this other stuff but you guys let me know what you think in the box below uh, I'll make I'll continue to make videos uh, on this topic as uh, as it comes uh, comment subscribe peace